so hello everybody welcome to the next video in this video i will be explaining you some more features of power apps and we will start with a checkbox so first of all what is a checkbox a checkbox looks like this yeah so let us rename it Let me rename this as show more information. Okay. Um. So, what does a checkbox do? Basically, um, you might have uh, gone through many checkbox pages. For example, if you want to sign up, um, or sign in, it normally ask a website asks you as um. I agree to the terms and condition let's say and you would have to check uh, check it and then it will let you move forward checkbox um, has a boolean value that means it has either one or it has either zero if you want to check it let me create a label text label and We will give it a value of checkbox. That means that checkbox, the checkbox six, it's checkbox six. And value, oops, oops, sorry. So value, and then we will write the name of checkbox which is checkbox 6 close so it will show us the value of this checkbox let me play it that means then when we check it it has one if we uncheck it it has a zero so it has a boolean value there is a similar thing in power apps called toggle which i'm sure you would have already seen at many places it is also same to um, check boxes let me again let me show you the value of toggle again so it has toggle what's the name of toggle it's toggle one so toggle one dot value so see it's zero as well if you turn it on it has one if you turn it off it has a zero value the same goes with check boxes as well that means that both of these can be used um, um, as alternative to each other now you might be thinking why do we actually use it or how do we actually use it that um, will be explained more more detailed will be explained in, in next videos but um, we will start from here let me just put it aside let us rename this as well so you see here that it says off or on it has two labels if you want to change it then we will go from on the right side it says show label you can turn it off and then it wouldn't show anything but of course we want to turn it on and we want to rename it yeah so in order to rename it here says true text that means that what happens if we turn it on we will rename it as let's say um, um yes yeah that means that if we turn it on it will show us the value of yes instead of on the same goes with the false value which is 
false text it should be somewhere here now false test text so we'll write it as now and when we turn it off it will show now that let us let us add another label here now let's say um let's say see more information see more information know what okay i'm sorry i'm not very good with the design or layouts want to see more information then we'll put a question mark here and then here as no and yes so no and yes okay now let us assume that we have a more information here a chat row um, text box where we have some um, let's say some more information which we want users to to read before they um, before they sign up or move forward or click anywhere so i will put here sample text blah 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 blah, blah. okay Okay, we want users to read this if they click on here, if they click on yes, right? Then this value should be shown. How can we do that? Can be done in many ways, but I will show you only some ways or maybe let's say i will i will show you two ways the one with the if formula and the one with the um creating a variable let us do it we will go on on select property of toggle i will set a variable a toggle variable um i will name it show toggle and then i will negate it show toggle so we have set a variable here now we will go in visible property of our text label and i will set it as toggle show toggle okay now once we click here that means that um, this variable activates and we have set in the very visible property of our text label that when show toggle is active or when show toggle variable is active this should be visible property should be true that means that it is true if it is if our toggle variable is zero or if it's false then it would not show our text label as well that was one way and if you want to um there's another way we can also use if formula here let us do if formula now now we'll create another text label i will write here example show this label if if toggle is on red if formula okay that 
yes okay now i will put here the if function in the visual property the if let us say our toggle the toggle the toggle the name of the toggle is toggle one if toggle one is true then give us the value of okay that means if toggle one is true we don't have to actually write equals true when it comes to check boxes or toggle boxes so we just write, uh, write if toggle one that means if toggle one is one or if it's, if its value is one then visible property should be true for check box so let us test it now see this thing is visible now these are the two uh, ways where you can um, show or hide information that was very um, simple example of how you can use toggle boxes the same goes with the check boxes as well because check boxes as i mentioned um, in the beginning check boxes also use the same principle but with the check boxes you can do um, a lot of other informations um, such as filtering or um, sorting not sorting but filtering of course um, let us go through the same process for checkboxes as well. So I will add a text label here. I will show this label if checkbox is um, checked. No. Again, you can set the variable of checkbox in the on select property. I will set a variable for this. Let's say checkbox checkbox checked. Done. I will negate it again so that that means that if it's clicked once it will activate the the variable that means the checkbox checks if it's clicked again then it will negate the variable or it will um, bring it back to zero And I will negate it. Check box checked. Okay. And the visible property again. I will write here as check box. That is our, that is the name of our variable checkbox checked. Just writing in the okay. Play check checked gone checked visible again. So that is a very very basic um, concept of how we can use checkboxes or toggle bars to. Um, hide or show information you can also use of course the if formula for checkboxes again but again it that would be the repetition you might have understood the concept here so i don't think i have to explain that in detail as well okay i think that is all for the video that was a basic introduction of toggle bars and checkboxes i will try in the next in my next video to show more functionality of both of these also 
in a real life example that would make more sense all right thank you